Hey everyone, this is Sergeant Danger Cow. Thanks for checking out the video and my channel. This video is all about throwing knives. Some of you may already know that I have a bit of a thing for the throwing knife with over 3,400 kills and counting. And I'm hoping that this video will help some of you who might be struggling to use it. Stay to the end for a secret tip. The basics. The throwing knife is an instant kill gadget locked to the assault and recon classes and found in your throwable section, the same as grenades. You carry a maximum of three, but they can be recovered when thrown if you can find them, replenished by an angel crate, an ammo box, or from the small ammo pouches downed enemies dropped. That's the first tip. If you're running around trying to kill people, always run over dropped ammo pouches where possible to keep your supply full. What many people don't know is that the knife travels flat for 50 meters, which is pretty far. In fact, almost twice the maximum effective range of the assault rifles. Then the drop off hits pretty rapidly. So the second tip is to try to concentrate on working out visual recognition for a range to 50 meters and stick to that for your throwing knife attempts. Of course, killing enemies sitting over a hill can be quite satisfying too, if you're using the drop to do so. Knife preparation. As the throwing knife comes under throwables like grenades, they are affected by the auto throw switch in options. Personally, I prefer to have my knife ready to throw when I select this, so I have auto throw set to off. The reason for this is that fraction of a second delay if you don't have it ready to throw can be the difference between success and failure. It is important to remember if you do select auto throw to off, that you won't go back to primary weapon until you have thrown all your knives and there is a slight delay in going back to primary when you have thrown them so bear that in mind in any engagement and be prepared to switch back to primary manually to find the auto throw option go to options then to mouse and keyboard then on foot scroll down to other and you will see the auto throw grenades and throwing knives again this is a personal preference so you may find it doesn't work for you I would recommend at least trying it out as it helps a lot with your timing and aiming for a throw. This ties into my secret tip at the end so it might be worth trying. Engaging enemy. The throwing knife is a silent and instant kill weapon. So whilst running amok the enemy and repeatedly killing them is great, for greatest effect and easiest kills you want to get behind them. Combined with a suppressed weapon like the AM40 or K30 and a suppressed G57 pistol you will find yourself racking up kills pretty quickly. You'll see that I use Sundance a lot of my time, again, yes I know, precisely for this reason. Ideally, you want enemies that are in clumps, but a bit spread out. Groups of snipers on a ledge, for example, are ideal. This will help you to get used to the timing and aim. Patience is key. If you can wait for a target to stop moving, it will obviously help. Of course, the massive benefit of the throwing knife is it's almost completely silent, so even if you miss, you're unlikely to alert the enemy. Eventually, with enough practice, you'll get an idea of how far you need to lead a target to get that kill. Seriously, top tip here. If you are chasing an enemy, look at the terrain in front of them and what's going on. Are they likely to have to move left due to an obstruction? If so, then consider that a time to throw your knife because you have a high degree of predicted movement. Are they coming up to cover? If so, they are likely to stop. As I said, patience is key. Practice will get you there with angles and leading your target. One other small tip here is try not to get too close as the throwing knife isn't very good up close. Finally here, it's important to remember that you can throw a knife at an enemy using a gun and duck behind cover. The fact that it's an instant kill versus an automatic gun that needs to hit you several times, you can pop out, throw and pop back. If the knife is thrown well, they will die and you at worst might be hit a couple of times. This is one of the reasons having the knife auto throw selected to off is useful because you don't have to time it quite so precisely. Now the secret tip. You'll notice if you select auto throw to off that the knife is held up ready to throw. You may also notice that you can hold your fire button to prep for a throw. Whilst holding fire gives you a very marginally quicker throw and no slower speed whilst running, I would strongly advise against it. Firstly, you're committed to the throw, and the moment you release fire, you will throw, potentially losing a knife. This means you can't climb a ladder or quickly switch gadgets or weapons. Secondly, the throwing speed advantage only works on the first throw. This is arguably fine in areas with few enemies, but after that first throw, it is far better just to quickly tap fire to throw your knife. Thirdly, 
Having a consistent throwing speed will help your muscle memory and timing much better. Most importantly, try to quickly tap the fire button. If you press it for any longer, it will start prepping to throw rather than just throwing, which will cost you valuable reaction to throw time. That's all for this video. I hope these tips have helped. As always, stay Wagyu legendaries, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Thank <laughs> you.